Steve, you watch Kevin every day. Why do you think he is clicking offensively the way he is right now? I have no idea. You're going to have to ask him. He's, he's just in a groove. He's that talented, though, um, where if he, if he starts to feel it, he can get any shot he wants pretty much any time. Um, so when he's feeling it, there's not a whole lot the defense can do. That late sequence is as crazy as shots as you've ever seen him hit. You know, usually he's more lethal in efficiency zones. That was like, you know, yeah. threes and corner three. Yeah, the deep three at the end of the third quarter, and then the, the corner three to tie it with eight seconds left, um, and everything in between. You know, he was, it was just stunning how how hot he was and um, how smooth he looked out there while he was doing it. You've uh, you've come on, especially the last couple of years, and, and been mad after a win. You know, like a bad win. Yeah. Uh, was this a good loss? You guys don't have to. Uh, I, I, you know, if I say that, then everybody will say, well, the Warriors aren't into moral victories and whatever, so I'm not going to give you the privilege of uh, <laughs> you know, being able to write something like that. All, all I know is that we judge our guys on, on effort and uh, how hard we play together, and we did that tonight. But there are no moral victories for the Golden State Warriors. <laughs> you got jumped, that? What jumped out in your first in-person look at the Toronto Raptors? Excuse me. What jumped out in your first in-person look at this new Raptors team? Uh, they're they're an excellent team. Uh, very versatile. Uh, they got a lot of guys who can uh, put the ball on the floor and uh, make threes. And uh, yeah, they're, they're very good. Are you looking forward to the rematch when you have all your weapons? No, I'm looking forward to Detroit. So we're on to Detroit, as Bill Belichick would say. <laughs> And what about Nick's suit? Did your jacket? Did you like that? Yeah, he he definitely uh, nailed it tonight. Um, and I'm embarrassed that I uh, completely forgot about the memo uh, that Raymond gave me the other day. I forgot to pack my uh, my Sager suit. Um, but uh, yeah, Nick nailed it. And uh, you know, I'm I'm uh, always thinking about about Craig, especially when we have uh, TNT games. You know, I worked with him for eight years and. Uh, He's you know, just such a, a part of the history of, of this game and, uh, and a good friend, and, and we miss him. And I'm glad that um, you know, we're, we're still um, you know, raising money and awareness in his honor, and um, you know, we're, we're thinking about his family all the time. Steve, what do you take away in the grand scheme of things, how the teams manage without stuff these last stretch of games? Uh, I, I think that you know, the, it's... No matter who's out, you just want to see um, the effort, the intensity, um, the fire, the, the competitive desire, all that stuff. So um, that's you know that's what kind of turned I think you know the last the last four games. Um, you know we were in that rut, and um, I think we're competing a lot harder, and it shows. Damien's struggle seemed to kind of continue. I think he was a minus twenty. Do you, have you thought at all about changing that? Uh, no, spot? no. Um, you know, we, we're still uh, interested in developing all three of our young guys, and um, you know there could be could be some um, matchup uh, moves at some point. But uh, you know, we're committed to playing everybody. What do you think needs to change for next game in Detroit? Excuse me. What What do you think needs to change for next game in Detroit? Nothing. Uh, just get a get to a better start. You know, if we start. Start the game with uh, better focus, better ball handling, and uh, better defense. Then uh, that's uh, that's about it. Because the rest of the game, you know, after that first eight minutes, I was very pleased with. See how much how much easier do things become when you get step back. Um, yeah, everything everything gets better. <laughs> Food tastes better. Your guys' questions get better. <laughs> uh, you know, it's uh, obviously we're, we've been looking forward to getting him back, but I'm again I'm proud of the way the guys have uh, have fought without him, and hopefully um, you know Draymond uh, won't be too far behind him, and we'll um, you know we'll we'll have a better better flow and a better feel for you know who our team really is. But in the meantime, we're we're doing a good job holding down the fort.